Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Blue Lotus Gardens. If you're new here, my name is Blue Phoenix. My pronouns are they, them. I make fun planty videos from my found knowledge and then also share with you a plant vlog of what I do behind the scenes of my plant shop, Blue Lotus Gardens, located in Fort Worth, Texas. If that's something that you like, I recommend subscribing, liking my videos, and then commenting down below. That really helps me out with um, reaching a larger audience and more people with my channel. Thank you all so much. In today's video, I'm sharing with you all um, my fall favorites. These are uh, ones that I've purchased from Facebook Marketplace, um, have grown from my own personal little propagation, or also uh, purchased from other people as well. And so I'll share with you all what uh, from my philodendrons, my scandapsis, uh, my hoyas, begonia, and then also the squamy ferum. I just have to share these with you all. They're growing so much and I'm so excited to share with you all my their growth and what I've been doing in order to, for them to um, thrive. Okay, so first off, I have to start off with my beautiful begonia over here. I grew this uh, from a small little uh, begonia and then um, I'm, I've put some put this one up for on my, on my website. I want to try and introduce begonias to my plant shop and I believe Bego uh, cane begonias are the more easier type begonias for people to start off with and as always you're more than welcome to uh, message me or, uh, with any uh, questions and refer to my plant blog so that way you can get some help as well with wh with whatever you need um, but this one has really been easy going for me and doesn't really need a terrarium uh, type environment and what that means is a more like high humid environment and extreme grow lights to for it to thrive it it absolutely thrives in an, a terrarium environment as you see here because i do keep it in one but i acclimate it so that way it doesn't have to be neat it doesn't need to be in one so um this one's great this is my begonia griffin uh and i have more propagation for it as well as you see here these beautiful it's just a beautiful like red under leaf right there oh, and then it has like this really nice like golden i want to say like a golden dark brown uh tint to its foliage with this nice little spotting um it does give it does reflect in the video as a very like uh dark green but in person it has that it has it kind of almost looks very like golden brown uh in the light so i i really like this one a, a lot um it's one of my favorites and as you see it has like it's two growth points so um it has this nice big structure here and then also this nice little one over here um easy super easy to propagate in water um and then also um uh vermiculite as well as long as the the medium is not touching the foliage it won't rot off the plant and then also um, have, so that way you can have a successful propagation ultimately needs like um, medium bright and direct light i keep mine in the east facing window that's where the nice light uh shines on it uh, if it's on the south facing window it tends to get it'll it will tend to get um a burning on it i noticed when it was like really young and barely growing and so i moved it over to my east facing window and that's just for me i live in a in zone eight so that's how uh that's what works best for me just uh, one of my favorites um and i'm so excited to introduce more and more begonias to uh to you all i will introduce like uh, more terrarium type begonias to my patreon um, and just a little bit more, more uncommon, uh, plants on there that I've been able to get access to. Next, I want to share with you all, um, a very special plant to me, uh, and it's this Hoya Crinkle 8. This is the Hoya Crinkle 8. I'm going to share with this one with you all. It has these nice new growth points, uh, three new leaves right here, uh, and their, their leaves actually... As you see here, it's at a, at a very like more darker green, but it started off as a very like uh, brownish tint to it, like a brownish green. 
most people might be thrown off by that but i really enjoyed it i thought it was super beautiful um it almost looked very silky um at, at first and then it, it's starting to create its nice little crinkles on it which at first i'll have to admit i was not a fan of but um you just kind of like start looking at the plants a lot and seeing it and noticing it and it's really um doing really well i keep it in my grow light my grow lights are set at 20 percent at, at at most 25% and that's really like very minimal time that I keep it at 25% maybe like five minutes out of the day um, and that's just because if whenever I forget to turn on the lights for my grow tent um, that's little 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 like zap that I just kind of give them to and then I just set them for like 20% I haven't seen anything happen to them that has harmed them so I'm not really doing too much to it. But I believe this one's giving me a peduncle. If y'all could see there, that's a little peduncle that it's giving me off. Um, I was going to chop it up and, and propagate it, but I've never had a Hoya flower. So I'm going to have it flower and then I'm going to uh, cut it up a little bit. Just a little bit. I want to make more of it. But. I believe that's a peduncle. It's doing really well in my grow tent and I'm just really excited to like really just watch this grow. I've been a really a big fan of Hoyas lately and they're it's just awesome to see them grow. Next I'm gonna share with you all my Skimdapsis Trubii Dark Form. Uh, this one has been a bit of a challenge for me. I did try to propagate it and um, the propagation failed. Um, so that was a little bit of a heartbreak to me and I didn't do much of a propagation to it. So I just kind of, after the propagation failed, um, I just let it grow. It's giving me two new growth, growth out of it. Um, and it's, it's also putting off this new growth right here. This one has been a slow grower for me and this dark form really just enjoys like, um, moist soil, but a little bit more of like, not so heavy moist soil if that makes any sense it doesn't like to be in a very heavy wet environment a, a really long time and i just really just give it one good watering and i leave it alone for a while it, the leaves were a little bit darker but i think I've, i set them in a in a too high of a environment for the grow light so i think i need to reduce it we need to move this away from the grow light grow tent a little bit um, and then just really see how that works um, But I've been a little like just skeptical ever since I saw those two propagations uh, Fail on me. I was like, I just need to keep it there and safe and then I'll just like worry about the the coloring of it later. I, I really uh, just Love this one um, It's really hard to come by well It's it's a little bit easier to come by now, but I still, it's like once you have it, you're just like, I don't want to like mess it up because even like trying to purchase another one, the lowest one I found was like $40 and it's like um, super smaller than this. And I'm just kind of like, I'm, I'm okay with this. And plus it has this new little growth that's coming from the bottom of the soil right here. That little that little like green thing that's poking out that's that's a new plant that's forming out of it so i'm really excited to see this one grow um i just really just kept it there and i don't want to like move it too much and propagate too much from it because i just don't want to mess it up it's one of my favorite ones there so, so for the end of this video i'm going to share with you all my philodendrons which are the philodendron uh Ilstemanii, right over here that's putting off a lot of new growth and then also this uh, philodendron squamiferum. Uh, this squamiferum I purchased from a, a Facebook group, and so I'm really excited and just very, 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 very happy that I have this one. This one's the one I've always really wanted, y'all. Like I've wanted this squamiferum forever, forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, like forever, forever. <laughs> and now I have one. Um, and I'm just really excited. I've seen its growth. I think I've potted it up wrong. Let me know in the comments if I did um, 
I'm gonna ask my Discord group also, and then some other Discord Discord group, sir, uh, that I'm in, so that way I can um, really know how to <laughs> repot it better. Um, because it looks like it's protruding out the soil, and then it has this other growth point. I'm trying to show y'all. Hold on, real quick. Do you see how it's protruding out like that? And then right in there, that little green spot, that little green speckle is protruding out from that. And so I just don't want it to like grow any wonky way. So if y'all know how it's growing or how it needs to be like repotted, let me know. I'm more than happy to, um, to learn from y'all because I really want to make sure that I do this right. And I have this one potted up in a uh, a more heavy perlite medium than the other ones um, because I, I thought that's just the way it needed to be in a more like, aerated type of soil. Um, and I just, I always bottom water this one. I, well, I bottom water all of them uh, because I just, that's how it's safest for me to, to gauge on how heavy their watering is and how much water they uh, need. And then this uh, Ilsemaniae, look at that, look at that leaf. It's so beautiful, like, oh my god. And then look at this, oh, look at this. Look at that foliage right behind, just so beautiful. So beautiful. And then it's this little like, new leaf that's forming out of it i'm just excited for it it looked like a, it looked like a rolled up tobacco um at first and so i thought it was like that's my plant it looks it looks it's a funky looking little plant i love it i love the way it, it it's it forms it also looks like a scary little finger perfect for Halloween right so my little spooky plant but uh, I love the coloring it's this nice like ombre uh reddish orange uh hue to it like that just looks so pretty um and then these two new little baby leaves like boop so cute oh my god and then around it there's this new one forming out of this one Right in here, can y'all see that? That little one right there. And then right in here. Right there, it's forming another new little leaf. Right there. So, I'm so excited. I just, oh, these are like my plants and I, these are, these just have been so oh, amazing to like watch and grow and like learn from. I just really want to like learn more about them. And so I've been engaging more and like learning about them and uh, just really like trying to like develop more of like a, a knowledge of what more uncommon plants need and want and um yeah it's been really a good journey and i just really am excited to keep on sharing these like new plants that um come into the store whether it's for like my store my personal just really overall um i'm excited to share share them with you all and if you ever wanted to support us we have merch um i design my, my merch myself at the moment um and so I have this nice, fun Halloween merch. Uh, I, I love it. I think it's so cool. I really love the font. Um, it's really soft. It's a heathered black. And then I also have a white available. Um, I wanted to keep it simple. So it's unisex as well. Um, and then in the back, it has this nice, fun little design. Um, let me see if I could show y'all real quick. So if y'all see, I have a little But yeah, I designed the back and I designed the front. I just, I really like it. I even designed a, just a, a simple, uh, easygoing custom label for us in our merch. So you'll see it in there, in your, uh, 
t-shirts as well. I thought that that was fun and something to really like look for, add on to the shop. If you want to support us that way, that would be amazing. And I just really thank you all for every kind of way you all have supported us in helping our channel grow, in supporting my plant shop, becoming a Patreon member, um, joining my Discord group, and really like just really engaging in everything that I share with you all. Um, you all have been really amazing. I'm so thankful every day that I could to do this and share my amazing little plants with you all. Till next time, everybody. Bye. Peace.